Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a named range in a list. I'm going to use this example spreadsheet that I've got set up here. There's two tabs on this spreadsheet. This first tab has a table of data which has months of the year down the left hand side and then uh, sales information for uh, the appropriate months uh, for laptops, tablets, desktops and mobile devices. This table of data has already been named and if I just highlight the table here you should see it come up, there we go, sales table. On the second tab I've got some VLOOKUP formulas and what I'm doing is when you type the month of the year into the month cell here it shows you the sales data for each of the devices, laptops etc for that month. Now the form that we're using is uh, this one here, it's uh, VLOOKUP, um, it looks up the date in column A2, cell A2 should I say, uh, it searches in the named range sales table, uh, for this particular VLOOKUP formula it finds a value in column 2 of the sales table and it's got to be an exact match, so it uses false. Then in the next formula across it just such as in column three of the named range sales table. And again, column four, column five. And what we're going to do in this cell here is we're going to create a drop down list of all the months of the year. So to do that, I'm going to go back to our first worksheet. And first thing we're going to do is highlight all the cells with the months of the year in that one there. And then here in the name box, I'm going to type months of the year and click enter. Let's just make sure that uh, we've got that. There we go. Months of the year. Now going back to the cell where we want this, we're going to create a list. So to do that we have to choose data validation which is on the data tab and from data validation we'll select data validation and we're going to get a menu which looks like this one here. Now in the allow drop down list we will select list and then in source we're going to type equal and the name that we've just created so months of the year. Click OK and we'll get the little drop down button here and from here we should be able to select months of the year and then we get the sales data. So $1,000, $2,000, 500 and 3,000 for January. Let's just check that here. 1,000, 2,000, 500, 3,000. Yep. Let's try it another month. Let's try July. <clears throat> 5,000, 10,000, 2,500, 15,000. Let's go back to our original data here for July. 5,000, 10,000, 2,500, 15,000. And that's it. It's that simple. Okay, guys. Thank you very much.